Tree Rack City Moto. My name's Trevor. Today I'm going to do a little RV tour for you guys. Show you all the updates I've made to my new home. I've been living in this camper for three months. I have decided to quit my job on April 21st to actually pursue this so it is a for sure thing now. I am going to be a nomad living on the road. Today I'm filming this video, but the wind is insane, so you're going to have to bear with me on it. I want to show you the bike on the front, and the name. The name of my camper is... Roll Intro. of my camper is Merlot Rover. Merlot because it's aging like fine wine and Rover because it's the home that we're trying to get away from people and to just explore. Yeah I thought it fit it well. Uh, shout out to Rachel for giving me Merlot. I'm going to show you guys all the updates I did. It looks night and day different. It's so much better. I did a lot of Updates on the truck as well, oil changes, cold air intake, differential fluids, all that stuff. I got the bike mounted to the front of the truck so I can get in and out of the camper easier. People's looking at me because I'm filming. Yeah, I know. I'm talking to a camera. I don't sweat you! And that's how, I, that's how you get rid of them. Because we don't let fear tell us what we can do, right? Yeah, I am a little scared to be honest. This is quite a jump for me. I've had a pretty mellow Monday through Friday job. My job, I started when I was 18 at Codell Electric Supply. I moved all the way up to Inside Sales. I've been there for almost 10 years. 7 to 4, Monday through Friday. It's been a good job, but it's time to for me to go explore a little bit excited but terrified but sometimes the scariest things are the best things right I heard that somewhere but enough of me yapping let's go check out the camper and the outside of the truck surprise shawty looking pretty good though I got new wheels and tires the wind is still bad forgive me yeah. Got my new KO2 Goodriches and American Racing wheels. I redid the gloss coat on the hood and that looks really good. Got the bike on the front. Got Taz up there. It ain't going nowhere. Also I got this lock. Big thick chain lock. That goes around it so nobody can steal it, which I'm excited about. The bike looks good on the front. It does block my headlights a bit, but I'm sure the light will still come through the wheels though. But it fits right in the middle. It doesn't really block my my view very much, which I like. I'll kind of show you from sitting in there. So this is the view. It's really not too bad. I'm hopefully we're going to see some really cool views in the future. Here is Carol. She'll be joining us. She likes to dance. I uh, got me a new propane and electric generator. Extra propane, gas, paddleboard, solar panels, and a inflator. Pretty decked out. All my tools. I've got some snow chains and jumper cables. Okay, so I also got a new security camera on the back. Just in case, you know, I have some issues. Got a new light. Got a new padlock door lock. So I can just put my coat in and lock it. 
pretty cool. What also I got here. I love this sticker. Just pass me. This is as good as it gets. Got all these stickers put on. I think right here is where I'm going to start putting stickers uh, from places I like. Got my shovel mounted up. That was my grandpa's. Yeah, let's go check it out inside. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, here we go. Quite a bit different from the last time, right? It's got some re-ventilating to do, but uh, <laughs> it's got all this old school green to it. But uh, I'm gonna reupholster these. I'm gonna paint all the cabinets, get some new shades, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some fun with it. Got the new carpet going, got all the pads changed here is my solar generator it's the blue Eddy ac 200 max really cool i got the extension battery so this thing will last a week i'll turn it on for you so i got my little string lights around the bed hooked up to it makes it kind of feel homey in my opinion i always like putting those up Got a 32 inch Samsung TV, a table, got this foam pad here for this mattress, full size. Oh, it's so comfy. Got this little hanger here where I hang all my clothes. I put up a couple of my paintings that I really liked. This one took forever, but the fridge works. Can't fix stupid. You can't fix it apparently, so we're going to stop doing it. If that makes sense probably not but I got this painting up this one means a lot to me I saw it at the car forest at Goldfield Nevada somebody spray painted don't let fear tell you what you can do and I just like that because uh, that's the one thing that holds me back most of the time so and we're doing this now so it's not holding us back no more so we'll see got my little hanger to hang my helmet up ukulele you know so sometimes I could uh, so I could jam out sometimes got this really cool cork uh, map where I could put pins on my route I really like that and then right here I got my Polaroid picture hanger so I could put up pictures that I really like and enjoy from good memories but right here is the bathroom nothing's really changed added a first aid kit toothbrush and a little rack for some stuff I haven't showered yet but you know I use the toilet here's really cool I got one of those fruit hanger things to make it look like I'm healthy microwave got that adventure sign I bought a long time ago fit there perfect Got a five gallon jug with the electric dispenser. It's nice for drinking water, coffee maker, waffle maker. If you are curious about that waffle maker, I made waffle pancakes, but it's up on my Patreon. If you haven't checked that out yet, I'll put a link in the description. It is five bucks a month, but it will give you behind the scenes and shout outs on my videos. If you're interested in that, go check it out. Wanted to do a shout out to Leanne, Taylor, and Colette and Troy. So thank you guys for following my Patreon. Got um, my stove here I can cook on. I got this oven I've made a couple pizzas with. Got hangers for my boots and hiking boots. Also added a solar panel to the roof. New solar panel. Got my controller right there, which will allow the power from the solar panel to go to there and then to my battery, which is right here. But this thing was very expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it on the long run so I can enjoy microwave TV or even charge my camper. It actually has a 30 amp plug on it, so it runs the camper easily too. So that's all the lights and furnace and stuff. I also mounted up this AC that hooks up to my solar generator too. 
It'll help me keep me cool in the summertime because I know where I'm going it's going to be hot. Hopefully. I got this here. These are all my valuable stuff. All the meaningful stuff I got from friends. And then I gave this to my grandma when I was a kid. She passed away. But it's meaningful to me. I really like these red blackout curtains. So I can just put them out, close them. And it blocks out like all the sun. So if I ever need to take a nap or something. Or privacy, it's cool. Uh, laptop holder. Up here is my filming cabinet. So I got all my batteries, my lenses, and all the important stuff that I need to film. I uh, did put in an outlet here so I could run a charger. Also, here, I got some stickers from my new logo I'm pretty excited about. Um, if you guys want some stickers, uh, maybe send me an email. I'll put an email up on the screen and give me your address and I'll, I'll ship you a couple of these. I ha only have like 400 of them, so. Um, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. And then just more storage over here. I got this smell good thing. Cause it gets kind of rank in here sometimes so it smells really good what do you guys think of this i'm pretty excited as you can tell i uh big life change it's been kind of a stressful thing for me but not a lot of people get this opportunity to go travel and i'm going to enjoy it i'm going to not take it for granted all right gotta go back outside to the wind Look at that. Got the exhaust on. All bolted up. Didn't make too much of a sound difference, but I'm sure the performance will be nice. Change the differential fluid, oil, spark plugs. Let me show you under the hood real quick. Show you guys a bit of under the hood. I got my new K&N cold air intake, new belt hose. I did new radiator hoses, upper and lower. I got new spark plugs, new oil, the transmission fluid is good. I got a new secondary battery that charges my camper battery. And that's a couple things I did under the hood. Everything else seemed to check out good. The alternator actually went out on me, so I had to change that. I changed all the coolant. I added new headlights and a grill with new bulbs. So that's going to be nice so I can see better at night. But yeah, I wanted to show under the hood too. This cold there, I'm hoping it's going to help with the gas mileage. Because I'm really hoping I can do better on that. I was trying to do an outro outside, but the wind is too insane. But my main goal was to just show you the interior of everything I've updated. More people staring at me because I'm just a f weirdo, I guess. No, I'm not. I'm a normal dude living my life. I don't sweat you! But thank you guys for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you liked it, hit that like because it helps my channel grow. I'm appreciative of every guy, every single one of you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just appreciative of all my followers and that's joining me for this huge change in my life. If you guys are curious for more in my life, go follow my Instagram and my TikTok because I post on there a lot more often than on here. But thank you guys all for watching. Stay out of trouble if you can. And we'll see you when I take off. Which is in about three weeks.